I found myself um, walking around, plastic bag in hand, picking up litter, um, because no one else was picking up litter. Um, and this was, you know, cold drink bottles, masks, uh, discarded uh, hard hats, uh, rubbish lying in, in key parts of the plant, including, in a number of examples, um, the control rooms, uh, which is really the, the, the brain of the plant. And what was very interesting is that when I pointed out that, you know, this is not acceptable, this is not how you run a national key point, there, there was this sudden awakening to, oh, yes, uh, you're right, we, we know it shouldn't be like this, but we can't quite explain why we've come to accept it and tolerate it and eventually um, condone it. Very interesting interview with uh, Andre Director, the former CEO of ESCOM. He was unable to join us in person because obviously, the, you know, the, the atmosphere around him at this stage is, is quite charged and there are quite a few individuals within the ANC, I think, who would like to have him set foot on South African soil so they can serve him with reams and reams of court papers. So it's unfortunate that he wasn't able to be here in person, but we, I think it still went relatively well. We were able to, to get a good conversation and I think that was quite informative for for those who attended. Um, and at this stage, yeah, I mean, it's it's really just the controversy, I think, around ESCOM just continues to grow every day. And having someone so senior within ESCOM uh, and so recently having left ESCOM telling us a bit more and having written this entire book, I think is enormously valuable for the South African public. <laughs>